In the last video, we installed MySQL, so we no longer need the MySQL installer. I'm going to select that and click the delete button to delete it. Now I'm going to open up LibreOffice and I'm going to open up a writer document. I'm going into Tools, Extension Manager, and I'm looking to see if this MySQL connector is installed. Mine is installed, but if yours is not, I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to open up a browser and search on LibreOffice Base MySQL connector. The second one is for Linux. The very first one, I'm going to click on that. This one is the Windows MySQL connector. I'm going to click on Get MySQL Native Connector. I want to save the file. And there it is on my desktop. There's a couple of ways to install it. I'm just going to go back into Extension Manager, Add, and scrolling down, I see it right here. I'm going to open, and there it is added into LibreOffice. I've got the MySQL connector 1.0.2. I can close our windows and I no longer need this MySQL download. I'm going to delete that. Now we need to create the database. I'm going into MySQL and I'm going to open up the MySQL server 5.6 and I'm going to double click on this MySQL 5.6 command line client going to enter in that password that we created in the last video secret one we see welcome to MySQL monitor and I want to just create a simple database and I'm going to paste in the line create database ODB 81 underscore MySQL DB and then a semicolon these are all in lower case. We can put numbers and we can use an underscore, but not a dash or capital letters. You, you can use them, but we may have problems. So I'm switching this all to lower case. Now I'm hitting enter. We see query OK, one row affected. And now I will type in exit, semicolon. Now let's connect that to LibreOffice Base. I want to create a new database and I'm going to connect to an existing database. In our selection here we've got ODBC. You can use ODBC but I'm going to go in through MySQL then ODBC. Selecting next. Here it says connect directly or JDBC, I'm going to do the ODBC this time. Selecting Next. Now it's asking me the name of the ODBC data source on our system. I'll click Browse. We see we've got a couple already in here. We don't want any of those. We want to create our own. So I'm going to click on Organize. And then from here, I'm going to click Add. Now I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and I'll choose one of these two. I'll take the MySQL ODBC 5.3 Unicode driver. For the data source name, I will put in ODB81 underscore MySQL DB. For the description, same thing. Now for the TCPIP server, we want this to be localhost all one word, 
And there's that port 3306. We saw that in the last video too. The user, we only have one right now, so we'll use root. And then the password, secret one. And now we come down to database. Selecting that shows us the databases that are available to choose from. Here's ODB81 MySQL DB, the one that we just created. That's the one we want. I will click OK. Oh, we can test this connection too. Connection successful. From here, I'll click OK. And from here, now I want to select the ODB81 MySQL DB data source that we just created and click OK. Now next, it's asking us for username. We will type in root, R-O-O-T, password required. Yes, it is required. I can test the connection again. It's putting in the username for me that I just typed in. And the password, secret one. Clicking OK shows us that that too was successful. Going on to next. Now it's asking us if we want to register the database. We will want to register this database for the connection between MySQL and LibreOffice Base. We will open the database for editing and finish. We need to give this a name. I will give this ODB81 underscore MySQLDB dot ODB. Let's create some tables using the design view. We'll make an EMP employee ID, making this an integer and an employee name, EMP name, and we'll leave that text bar char. Let's save this. We want to save this as an ODB81 MySQL database. The table in that database, we will call this EMP. No primary key. I better let me cancel and make this the primary key. Now save. Have that in here. Table TBL. EMP. Closing this shows us in our ODB81 MySQL database, we have one table called TBL EMP. Let's add one more. We're going to make this PHN ID, making that an integer, and PHN number, we can leave that text. Again, under the database, ODB81 MySQL DB, TBL dash PHN. And I forgot the primary key again. Let's make this primary key and save. So there are two tables under MySQL DB. Let's make a form from one. Actually, let's enter some data. Double clicking, our first employee, zero, will be Smith. Number one, Jones. Number two, Brown. Under the phone number, let me re edit that. I need to add in EMP. ID so that we can connect these two tables. Okay, phone ID zero, phone number five 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 one two one two goes to employee number one. Five 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 dash one two three four. 
that's going to go to employee number two. And I'll add one more. Five 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 nine 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 nine. That will go to employee number one. Let's save this and close. Let's see if we can create a relationship between these two tables. Go into Tools, Relationships, to Add, Add. Employee ID. And now it lets me create a relationship. That's good. Let's save that. Let's create a form using the wizard. We want our employee ID, employee name to be in the main form. So let's add those. Next, let's create a sub form. We want to connect this to our phone number table. Selecting next. I'll add all the fields. That's fine. Next. I want my main form to be columnar labels left and the bottom form as a data sheet. That's fine. Let's go next. Leave this as it is. I'm going to leave the styles as they are. And I'll just leave the default name as well. When I try to run this, I seem to have a problem with the parameters link from EMP. If I open this up in edit view, checking out my subform properties, We've got our employee ID matching to the employee ID, so that's not the issue. But it doesn't seem to work well with the subform. Let's remove the subform and just run this as a form and see how that works. So there's Smith. Jones and Brown. Uh, let's say that Jones is a gal. She gets married and hyphenates her last name. So I add that on. Dash Johnson. Jones Johnson is her name now. Let's save that. Next. Back. And it looks like it runs pretty well, but when we want to do subforms using ODBC, it looks like we have a little bit of a problem. Thank <laughs> you.